would you say there is any way that workplaces can best prepare to handle stress? Um, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And, and I think, you know, you've got, you've got these great, great emphasis and great publicity coming down the line with people like Mental Health First Aid, for instance, OK? Yeah. And they're a really, really good initiative because what they're saying is that effectively they'd like to get, I think, one out of ten in, um, people in every workplace um, aware enough that they could spot symptoms in other people, put that gentle calming arm around somebody and just help them open up a little bit and direct them towards a professional that can help them. Nothing more than that. And that's a really, really good start. Okay, so things like that. Um, Obviously, there's also things like there's the health and safety executive have a mental health in the workplace checklist. People can go to that website and get the checklist and maybe just check on a few things to see that they are not creating a workplace, um, you know, unconsciously creating a workplace that is overtly stressful. I don't yeah. think any employer gets up every day and says, I think I'll have a really stressful workplace today, <laughs> but things go wrong. And, and, and workplaces do get stressful, they're going through changes. Um, and then from there on, I guess, if I was a caring, considerate employer, I'd be bringing in people like me, okay, to actually teach people ways of coping and ways of being able to thrive mm -hmm. in these environments rather than just survive. Um, and for me, that's what the modern workplace needs to do because the, if we genuinely believe that our people are the most important asset in a business, then we genuinely need to invest in them as humans, not just very efficient cogs in a very, very efficient machine. And investing in their mental health is probably one of the best ways you can do that.